Now, I want to talk about something that I haven't talked about much, namely right left wing politics, conservatism, and its relation to the men's rights movement and uh, men going their own way. Part of the inspiration comes from a video or two that Barbarossa made a while back, where he specifically talks about these issues. And uh, if nothing else, the recent exchange between our camp and the other one has uh, provided me with food for thought. And in looking at various statements uh, on the part of the other camp uh, made in the comment section, it's led me to draw certain conclusions. Let me elaborate. I think at the end of the day, what we're actually looking at here in this division, if you want to call it that, is for the most part, one side which represents traditionalism, which supports traditionalism, and which, which at the end of the day, once again, wishes, uh, desires to return to those traditionalist roots. Uh, that's not my camp, obviously. And our camp, the camp which, generally speaking, rejects tradi traditionalism and is also much less politicized. Now let me talk about it being much less politicized. As I've said many times, and I will restress and restate on a con consistent and constant basis, I believe that politics, on, a, on the whole, whatever their manifestation, are a phenomenon based on human nature. That is to say that basic human biology, psychology, neurology, all these things create a social structure which in turn feeds um, a political structure. And then, then we have something we call politics. It's the chicken or the egg. And I believe our biology and psychology inform our decisions and uh, these political structures, not the other way around. I don't believe that politics stands on its own. And politics uh, is, sim as I said, simply a manifestation of, of, of what is, I, to some extent, innate to human beings as a whole, and then with regards to feminism, um, to women. As I, as I often have said, you have lowercase feminism, that is feminism that is inherent to female biology and psychology, and uh, uppercase feminism, which is the politicized version of it that we see rampant uh, running amok as, uh, as I speak. This is, of course, the major point of disagreement between the camps. But it's much more than that. There are certain characteristics that seem to go hand in hand with the other camp, i.e. the traditionalists. Um, for one thing, beyond focusing primarily on politics, they all identify left-wing politics as the source of all evil. Uh, more or less, you know, the Satan in the closet. And n not always overtly, but in some cases they do, in fact, cite right-wing politics as a solution to, its all, uh, to it all. Um, they are correct in the sense that most, the vast majority of left, of, of, femini of official feminists, as it were, are, uh, are in the left-wing political camp. But let's examine what the right-wing political camp uh, is about. Now, I'm going to say, it, this will not please many people, but I'm going to say it on any, anyway. You know, I, I think, if anything, I've garnered a reputation for being uh, brutally honest, and uh, even if it, uh, it's to my own detriment. But I, I do not associate libertarianism in its, in its, in its philosophical essence with right-wing politics. There's some overlap, um, just as there's some, even some overlap with, with, with left-wing politics. But at the heart of right-wing politics is traditionalism, um, i.e. conservatives. Uh, a conservative mindset is one, it's neither bad nor good per se, that, that seeks to either preserve past traditions or uh, to return to the past, as is the case, I think, now. So we have that. That means that what we really see, in the other camp at least, is an opposition um, to something that seems antithetical to traditionalist values. You see in the other camp, it's, it's very, very often discussed how it's, it's leftism, it's, it's Marxism informing all of these things. And that the solution 
uh, is always a political one and is always to to veer towards the right. There's other there are other aspects to this. Traditionalists will often talk about the the strong uh, and important role of the of the traditional family unit, mother or father, and they also talk about female and male roles. For example, uh, one traditionalist cited the idea that part part of the problem with women is that they're trying to assume or engage in male, uh, traditionally male roles, and, and the implication there being that they need to give those roles up and return to the fold. Um, and there are male traditionalists and female traditionalists. Uh, one traditionalist, female traditionalist I've mentioned before, I believe her name is uh, Miss, Misty Christie 82, and I'm, I haven't looked that up right now, so I'm, it's, it's, it's a haphazard guess. Um, she's very much a traditionalist, um, she's very much about uh, the old-fashioned roles. And I can understand these thoughts, but I have made a video in the past about traditionalism, not per se, but going back to the roots in the good old days. And quite frankly, as I've said numerous times and said in that video, I don't think that the good old days were really that good at all. Um, certainly not to men. Remember, men were being thrown into mine shafts and develop and dying either there or late de developing a pulmonary disease after that and dying in an excruciatingly painful manner sent off to war and so on and so forth. The good old, the good old days weren't really that good. Um, so what I see essentially in the other camp is a is a really just a desire to preserve the past and a return to to past uh, social structures. Getting past the point that that's for better or for worse, that's just not an option. It's not going to happen. Um, I, I I think that is in, in part uh, an element of this attack on on men going their own way and and our and our camp. The, the thought that we are being extreme and so on and so forth, because uh, what we do have in common with the so-called politicalized left and and feminists, uh, if you want to call it that, although I, I actually don't really see. Saying I'm being I'm, a, being I'm being a bit facetious here, is that what we're what we're talking about boycotting women, moving past that, and, and representing self-interest as well as compassion for men. Remember, conservatives do not offer compassion towards men, very rarely. In fact, I'm going to get to this in a second. I've I've never seen a conservative talk about the horrors of war and the pain inflicted on men as a result of that and the death. But let's talk about that in a bit. Um, that we are in fact we are at the end of the day, uh, rejecting traditionalist values. There's nothing traditionalist about men going their own way, after all. The traditionalist view is that we have a nuclear family with a mother and father, and each performs, performs certain roles and what have you. Uh, another point of division is I actually don't care about what women's roles are. Um, I think, I'm actually, I, believe, I do believe in meritocracy. If a woman, for example, can outgame me, I'll have respect for her, um, at least in that, in that uh, arena. Or if she performs a job better than I can, then I'll have respect for her in that as, as well. Uh, so I, I don't believe that in this traditional role thing, because I just think the whole thing uh, doesn't work to begin with, and didn't really work that well in the past. It was very, very fragile, as we've seen in recent decades. So MGTOW uh, is, is, is really walking away from tra traditions' values, and so it should not come as a surprise to at least the people in my camp, um, that there, there would be some rather uh, potent attacks and, and some rather potent negative re rhetoric leveled uh, at our camp for being extreme, for being this, for being that. Um, because at the end of the day, a traditionalist uh, wants to welcome the female back into the fold of traditionalist values and the traditionalist family unit. Uh, that, that seems to be the goal. Um, it is therefore incompatible once again with with men going their own way, and and it's, it seems very clear to me by this point in time that 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 is a uh, the crux of the issue. There's another element to uh, that I want to talk about in general to traditionalism and left right paradigm and all of this is that one thing. You will find compassion for men and understanding uh, 
very rarely, well, certainly you won't find it in the left at all. Um, and if you, unless you misinterpret what people are saying, uh, and I, I think mis this idea that, you know, man needs to be the head of the house and all this and what have you, to me that, that's not showing compassion towards men. I, I have, to this date, never heard a right-wing conservative uh, or a left-wing conservative, for that matter. Uh, sorry, a left-wing politician. They usually talk about women's uh, women's pain, but uh, either camp, but particularly right-wing conservatives, talk about the, the plight of men, say, with regards to war. Recently, Save the Men made a fantastic video, really defining what what the war experience is, and it's basically death, pain, and destruction for men. And never mind those survivors who have post-traumatic uh, stress disorder. I've had family members suffer from war and uh, men, and I can assure you, it's um, at least looking at it peripherally, it's it's no uh, walk in the park. They also have a very very little uh, inkling or desire to uh, to op oppose war, state sanctioned war. Um, often you'll hear things like the Iraq War was a mistake or Vietnam was a mistake, which it really is a a, a, a tragic uh, and I'm being generous here euphemism uh, to describe what they actually were. They were horrors. They were they were diabolical horrors wherein uh, men from one country uh, were sent to kill men from another country with whom they had no disagreement, never did anything again, uh, towards them. And as a result, uh, hundreds of thousands of people have lost their men, primarily men, have lost their lives uh, trying to kill each other. Uh, conservatives don't talk about that, but if they're really feeling generous, they'll say it's a mistake. Uh, sorry, I can't just toe the line there. I have to state that uh, it's it's it's, a, it's an important issue to me because war throughout the ages has has always been um, the, the grim reaper towards men. I mean, there are so many other things as well, but it's it, nowhere else do you see where the numbers, the astounding numbers of death and suffering, uh, really just relegated to to the to one population almost entirely. So there's that. The other thing I've noticed is uh, it's very subtle, and I have to talk about this uh, slowly and methodically since all my videos tend to be spontaneous. So we had this case of the the Denver uh, this man in, in, in a Denver prison who was women uh, ex-wife was extorting money from him, and basically he couldn't pay anymore because she ran him out of basically ran him out of business. And, uh, you know, so he would end up in this horrible situation. Uh, traditionalists will often talk about the, the feminist uh, legal structure and this and that, and we need to push this back and what have you. Of course, what they mean is we, we want to push this back so we can get back to the traditionalist view where, where these feminist structures didn't exist, um, in the, the politicized feminist structures didn't exist, and I would support that, of course. But uh, once again, we see a marked lack of compassion. There's no compassion. It's it's not so much this man is suffering, um, and uh, you know we, we need to think about his, his his pain and suffering, which is something Girl Rights What talks about has talked about. Um, one of my interests I don't like using that word, but is 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 seeking to alleviate male suffering. That's one of the primary concerns of this channel, um, and and the focus simply on the political doesn't really do that. Notice how they're from the other camp. We've talked about suicide. Barbaros produced a very profound and accurate video of uh, of of male of male suicide, male death at their own hands as a result of of immense emotional pain. I've never and quite frankly, uh, some of the com the commentators in the other camp I've I've seen, like I said, they, with their man up rhetoric, um, it's little surprise to me that they, they would not talk about that issue. So I think what we have here um, at the end of the day is is something we really need to talk about openly. So we have this really just con conservatism, traditionalism, a desire to preserve the past, whether or not the I'm not, whether or not those structures are were were beneficial towards men or not, because um, ultimately the men's rights movement is about male interests. Um, we're not we're not going to sit here and claim as the feminist did that. Even though we have the, the nice prefix feminism, it's about egalitarianism and, and 
and, and, and for the general wheel of humanity and what have you? No, I think not. Um, the fact is the men's rights is about men's rights and men, male interests. And certainly that's what men going their own way is all about. The traditionalist view, I think, is much less so, much less about um, establishing male autonomy, um, giving men the means of protecting themselves emotionally, financially, and otherwise, and, and, and much more about returning to traditionalist value, values, tr returning to the nuclear fam family unit. Um, and this is why you see, on the part of traditionalists, a constant reference to 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 the left as as the sat as Satan as the devil in the closet that the left is responsible for everything. I don't deny, and I have agreed many times that feminists invariably invariably will be on the left. Um, but I don't I, I don't think that right wing politics are the solution or the panacea to it all. Um, if anything, it perpetuates the problem because let's face it that war as a manifestation of civilization has always been misandric yet they never talk about that and I dare I, I honestly dare a right wing perps person on the right wing talk about uh, the, the horrors of war as they reflect afflicted upon men and I and I would love to hear them talk about one of these wars is not me, 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 a, mis a mistake a mistake is when I, uh, I make a typo a mistake is when I forget to take my keys and I get locked out of my house. So that's a rather more that's a grievous mistake, I suppose. A war is not a mistake. It is a it is a, a monstrous horror. And um, anyway, so we really have this division. Ultimately, the other camp uh, is much less about men's rights, that is, representing male interests, and much more about uh, returning to, to traditional values. Um, there will be some overlap, inevitably, but by focusing everything on left right wing politics, there, and I've, I've been, sorry, I, I, let me restart that train of thought. I've been called divisive, creating a divide um, in, be, between our camps. First off, this divide has always been here. I, I merely uh, brought it to the fore in, 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 in addressing this topic and bringing it up. The second point uh, I really want to stress is that. The divide uh, that people are talk, talking about, it, it is very, very present. And at the end of the day, true representing male interests is really what uh, men going their own, own way is about. Um, when from the other camp you hear things like, you, know, you can't generalize, and you can't do that, even though repeatedly Barbara Ross and I have cited the evidence and, ta and talks about her past female behavior um, and you really he you, you, you ultimately only hear deflections uh, towards that uh, it, it makes you wonder that there is a difference between being representing male interests and and, and being concerned about male interests and wanting to return to the the golden utopia of the past there really is. Um, I think most traditionalists don't have a problem being a provider workforce, provided that they're the so-called head of the household and what have you. So th this is a, a serious, serious uh, point, but it, it's, it needs to be stated that conservatism, traditionalism, is not men's rights. Sorry, it's not. It's not men going their own way. Certainly, certainly, certainly not that. There's always going to be some overlap, but the overlap is far more minimal than uh, than people would like to think. Uh, by focusing everything on the left-right paradigm, uh, what I really want to say is that, even though I was accused of it, um, the traditionalists are traditional traditionalists and right-wing people are uh, are really leaving the focus uh, leaving the focus out outside of men. They're not putting the focus on men themselves. Um, it's all just about the left and right, and once the left is defeated, everything will go back to the good old dandy days of uh, of uh, leave it to Beaver. I have no idea, but um, yeah, this 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 obviously is not going to please on many many people. But it needs to be stated: I've never been a conservative, and I've never been a left wing person. I've always been as close as you can call it a pure libertarian. 
um, and that that might have something to do with it. But I, I, my libertarianism has always kind of been a lowercase l. I don't, I cannot endorse traditionalism because I don't think traditionalism is in the interests of men. Um, I just think this needed to be stated, and I do, and I do not see compassion and understanding extended towards men. Uh, and the traditionalist, the traditionalist view, it seems, the traditionalist camp, they do want to make a peace offering towards towards women, um, rather than through boycott and forcing about changes in behavior. They want to go back to the good old days. And as Barbaros had said predictably in in his uh, video response, his most very recent video response. He made a prediction that this would was what would happen, that if men didn't wise up, um, we we will see female infiltrators, female uh, female females, uh, pretending to show understanding, and uh, and really go back to the old model of uh, the traditionalist view of the of the male provider work out, uh, workforce and what have you. And in this sense, we see history as being quite cyclical. The the only key to escape all of that, the only means of escaping all of that, in my humble opinion, is by choosing the route of men going their own way. Because as Barbaros also stated, it, what it really is, what at the end of the day, what, what men going their own way really is, it is that is that recognition on the part of a large number of men, an ever-growing number of men, that there's something funky about the way women behave and something really, really, really odd about the way they behave towards men. It is men recognizing something fundamental and something core uh, in female behavior. That's the major difference. And I, I'm hesitant to say it, but I will say it, that I think uh, most people in the other camp, traditionalists, would have no problem going back to the, the good old days uh, of Leave it to Beaver, where you have assigned gender roles, which actually I don't believe in. Like I said, I think I'm a, uh, I believe in in merit, and um, yeah, that, that's that's at the end of the day what this is uh, really all about. It's a it's a clash of traditionalist values and uh, and non traditionalism. So let me just summarize and encapsulate what I've just said. Uh, men going their own way as a as a as a thought line of thought as a movement is is a stance in stark opposition to uh, the other camp because the other camp is traditionalist and men going their own way represent a threat to the traditional line of thought as food for thought you often hear how men go, the men going your own way philosophy is actually detrimental to the human race it's not a long term solution if if it's a solution at all and so on and so forth so it it is a clearly Men going their own way, in that sense, is a threat to the right-wing traditionalist, everything's left-wing, right-wing right, right -wing politics point of view. Much as the feminist, the over, the politicized feministic left, correctly so, is a also a threat and has been a threat to traditionalist uh, right-wing uh, politics. Um, I, of course, endorse neither, and I cannot, in good conscience, endorse uh, either one of those things. Um, there's always going to be some overlap. Of course, there's more overlap. My position with traditionalists, um, in the sense that I certainly would love to get rid of politicized feministic legislature and uh, and laws, but uh, I don't want to return to the to the good old days that were never good to begin with. I cannot do that. So yeah, what we have is uh, opposition to our camp for the most part because we we are representing change, but this time it's a change for men and a change for men's interests. Um, Traditionalism is not really in the interest of men so much as it's in the interest of preserving uh, the old guard. And certainly conservative and right-wing right -wing politics consistently and routinely fails in addressing the, that most, most, most uh, horrific uh, aspect of civilization and that probably the, one of the worst things that can happen to a man and, and, and only pri primarily happens only to men uh, war. Um, that's what war really is. Uh, is it's um, men suffering as and men dying, as, uh, as say the men uh, said in his video. A very very good video. Those of you who don't know, look up save the men, and uh, you'll find his video. But 
Anyway, that's all I had to say about this. Uh, this needed to be stated as well. Um, because if you really examine what's going on, I think you'll reach the same conclusions. Thanks for watching.